Hey everyone, Buddha here with another StarCraft 2 replay cast. This one will feature Liquid Hapro and Tarsin. Tarsin, the Drunken Terran on Sha Shakura's play Plateau. Tarsin, a very good European player. In case you don't know, Liquid Hapro, part of the Team Liquid team. And sorry, I'm just talking so awkwardly right now. Liquid Hapro actually coached Huck during uh, the Home Story Cup. Helped Huck uh, keep his composure and win that, that tournament. Fortunately, we haven't seen uh, quite the same results from Hapro, but still, nonetheless, a very, very, very good player. Remember, he has so many players to actually practice with. Now, this is going to be on Shakur's Plateau, very old map, very normal map that everyone knows how to play. Tarsen going to start walling off his front door and look for a very macro or oriented game here especially from Hapro you know that he likes to drone up a lot he likes to take that early third usually and especially on Shakura's Plateau it usually ends up in uh, dividing the map in half with this single attack path it is very easy for actually for the Zerg player to keep the Terran player in um, in check he actually knows what he's doing Tarsten actually walling off the low ground here so he will be going so for some two gates followed by a fast expansion this does put a lot of pressure on our zerg player and if he himself goes for a fast expansion he might be in trouble here this is very very hard to hold, ac hold actually he is going for 15 hatch and he really needs to put down his bonding pool as fast as he can or else this two gate will actually do so much damage he is actually Spawning two more Zerglings before, uh, drones, sorry, before starting his pool, so this might do a lot of damage here by Tarsen. If Tarsen actually does this correctly, he should win this game straight up, and uh, maybe we won't actually see a game that, that long. Now the spawning pool just starting, but one Marine is almost done and almost on its way towards Liquid Hapro's base. One Overlord is here to spot. He will see that SCV and pull out some drones as soon as he sees that. He will need to stop that bunker from going up or else it will be so hard to actually hold. Where will Tarsen actually putting sending his FCV up to the up into Hapro's main base? Not the wisest decision here. He should have started a bunker. It could have been huge, but now the spawning pool will have time to finish. One drone will start harassing that SCV. The, the SCV actually pulling back here, waiting for the marine. This scouting drone will go down and still no bunker up and this is actually a missed opportunity here by Tarsen. Now the, yes, the drones are actually going to be pulled. Going to try and get us around on those marines. With two marines here it will be very hard but now six lings in production will completely deny this and really I feel like Tarsen really missed his opportunity here. If he loses this SCV this push is going to be over six lings on the field along with two, three drones to actually stop this and great control by Liquid Haypro here focusing down the marines. Take getting two, losing only four links there. Four links for two marines, definitely worth it. Especially, it will allow the spine crawler to actually finish. Losing one more ling, but actually chasing the marines out here. So, great control here by Haypro. He is looking in great shape. He did get that expansion down. The spine crawler will root down in front of his expansion. And now it is 15 to 14 harvesters. The Haypro a bit behind, but at this point is. It is very normal. It is only after the five minute mark that the Zerg player actually pulls ahead in Harvester. He's going to chase down the rest of these Marines and the Knights control by Tarsen optimizing these Marines, but he will get cleaned up now. He should actually fi focus fire these weak ones. He does, no, he does manage to focus fire these weak ones and will come back with two Marines. He's actually sending even more Marines here. This spine crawler will do huge damage if they decide to push up. So this push is over Bar Tar by Tarsen. He now has an expansion down here. Following this up with two more barracks, still no gas. And Hapro has been mining gas for quite some time now, 24 to 18 harvesters at this point, producing only a single overlord because he is supply blocked right now. He is going to pull ahead in supply and really Hapro is looking very, very good in this game. The command center just now finishing for Tarsen. And really Hapro could, is free to do whatever he wants at this point. He doesn't have any more gas. He just now started Zerglin speed, so that was delayed quite a bit by that push. 
he does decide to stop mining gas, actually sending two more here. So he is <laughs> starting again to mine gas, quite indecisive. But he is going to get my control with these lings and start just scouting out to see what Tarsen is about to do. Tarsen now just getting his two gas. And while we wait for this game to develop, I will be saying that I, I am casting these lies live, by the way, on my Justin TV account. It's Justin TV slash Budazerg. So follow me there if you want to get notified when I go live. If not, the YouTube viewers will still be very happy because I upload these to YouTube as as I cast them, so they will be up later tonight. Now two more gases from Haypro. He is going to be teching up here. Look for his lair to start any time at this point. He does have the minerals and the gas for it. And there it goes down. Speed almost done for his lings. Now this push might actually do some kind of damage. Actually a spine crawler is being thrown down by Haypro very wise before he even sees that. So great game sense here. By Haypro, maybe he had a Ling here, I did not see it if he did, but now he definitely sees it with this Ling actually going to be chased out from the Watchtower. He knows that this push is coming. Look for him. He's actually not producing any more... No, there we go. 12, 14 Lings in production, almost done. I actually missed that. I don't know how I missed that. Now, this, these two Spine Crawlers will be crucial here. They do huge damage to Marines. Imagine getting poked in the face by that. Nice attack here by Hapro, actually getting a huge surround, not in range of the spine crawler though, so, so he should really back up at this point, because these spine crawlers could easily take down all these marines, more links streaming in, he should really stay in range of these spine crawlers, he could avoid so many losses. 16 more links in production, we'll be able to clear this out as soon as the spawn, more reinforcements coming, if Haypro actually gets a surround on this, he could clean it up. Tarsen will have will need great control here to save his marines. Actually, Aspire now starting for Haypro. As soon as that Aspire finishes, he will be able to actually clear take a third. Now Haypro gonna go after these reinforcements and this overlord will fall. That's not enough links to actually kill all those marines, so wisely going after the reinforcements, getting some free kills. And at this point, Tarsen is just scouting for that third base. He will not find it because Hapro will just wait for those mutas before expanding. Those mutas gave great map control. And as soon as those mutas pop, the Terran army can't actually leave his base. Or else he'll just get counterattacked and basically just straight up lose. So at this point, this little group of marines might eventually get picked off because they are in the middle of the map. They won't be able to return home without getting spotted. So really, these have these are already dead. They might as well do as much damage as they can. Look for actually a dropship to come and pick them up and try and not drop the main. But Hapro hey now his spire is finished. I, you see plus one missile attack, but still no mutas. I think he is a bit larva starved. He does have three in his expansion as well as his main base. And there we go, seven mutas in production. And in one shot with uh, with plus one flyer attack, you don't see any turrets right now in Tarson's base. So it looks like there was some lag here. Jacobo, one of the observers, lagged out and left the game. And look for these mutas to actually do huge damage. There are still no turrets in Tarsen's base. What is he waiting for? This Viking might actually be able to spot the rest of these mutas before they get to the base. But still no turret. These are going to do huge damage. These banelings might actually get at some nice shots here if they manage to. Revealing the mutalists actually not the best choice. If he could have actually just straight up attacked the main base. He could have done huge damage. And now these mutas are just going to be there for map control. These turrets are going to go up as soon as Tarsen realized that there were mutas on the field. Now Hapro getting his third base, so he will be get that economy going, being one base ahead of the Terran. Terran is actually 10 harvesters ahead of the Zerg at this point, so he is... He is saturated on two bases, but these mutas might do a lot of damage, especially if he doesn't throw up more turrets here. Only one defending the mineral line with one uh, viking, and there aren't many marines on the field. They are in the middle of the map, but without medevacs, these...